Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. I can tell if the leaves are down in front of the thing or not. Everything's gone wild in here on the forest plant situations. But yeah, I might have to do some twisting and turning here before I come back for the next video. It looks like the leaves are in front of my face. But uh, let's get on with the beer. We're doing the, I think this was the last one that I brought back uh, from uh, Oozle Finch when I was out there. Uh, but I do have four more that I went and picked up here uh, a couple days ago. One day, one day last week, I think. And uh, they had four that I didn't have, and uh, so uh, I said, "Well, let me have them." So, and one of them, uh, they only had one of it. So I got the last one that was on the shelf. So I do have four more coming that I went and bought myself uh, here in town. So. Uh, that's all that was available. This this will be everything that I can get my hands on from this brewery so far. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more stuff. That's what I'm hoping for. And, uh, and uh, we'll see, keep track of everything. Because I really enjoy their beer. So uh, uh, definitely added to my favorites list for breweries. Uh, this is called Riding Phone Lines. It's a 6.6% uh, sour ale with black currant puree, sweet cherry puree, uh, cholaca chocolate, vanilla, and milk sugar. So, uh, and this looks like a another. Uh, from what I'm seeing the picture here, and it doesn't show a full glass of it, but it looks like. Uh, I don't know. I, I ain't going to say. We'll see what comes out of the can and what it looks like here. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, the other sour ales that I have had from them have been pretty tasty. So uh, we'll see how this one goes. I don't have any IBUs. And the little barcode scan on the thing will tell you exactly everything you need to know. Just scan it with your phone and there it is. So uh, I, I got this at the brewery and it's a new release beer. I think it didn't even have it listed and only 52 people have uh, commented on and over on Untapped. So, a brand new release. Fresh as you can get it when you pick it up from the brewery. 99% of the time. So, let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, got the uh, the big oozle Oogle, finch bird on there. Well, it looks like it's got a little bit of a purplish color there. A little red color to it. So, I guess that's coming from the 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 black current, I wouldn't think, oh, we're getting some chunkiness coming out. Oh, yeah. Look at this. All oh, globs of it, too. Mmm. Oh, you know about that. Look at it. I mean, it's... Boop, boop. There's a whole lot of junk in this trunk. Normally, I would be kind of scared when I see these big clumps coming out of the beer like that guys but uh, it kind of won me over with the way that uh, golden shades looked uh, in the glass but they didn't have big chunks coming out of it like that so I mean there are some definitely heavy particulates in this one I mean two fingers a head on there and it, it looks like a mm, dark cherry well, yeah, it has got a lot of pulp in that, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. We're getting ready to find out. I'm hoping that's going to be a good beer. It's kind of scary looking coming in, out of the can there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's find out. I don't know, guys. 
I am a little <laughs> leery on this one, but it comes straight from the brewery, so. And it seems it wouldn't be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do it, guys. I, I'm not going to do a drain pour on this one. It's, uh, it looks different than anything else that I would typically consider drinking. I know a lot of people would not drink this, but just by the appearance and on the nose. Because on the, on the nose, I'm getting um, a little bit of cherry and a little bit of chocolate. And there's probably the, the black currant that I'm smelling. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? Would that look like something y'all would drink? I guess I'm going to be the sucker for you guys. Let's find out. Cheers. And it's got a twang to it too. That's a, that's like a smoothie. I mean, uh, it says sour fruited, but it's more like a smoothie. That's definitely a unique beer right there. I mean, that's I've never tasted anything like that, and to the consistency of what this is. I mean that's that's what it looks like coming out of the can. I mean it looks like a smoothie. Very curious looking bubbles now. You may be able to see them from there. There's the sours have had that consistency of the head like that where it very unique so I don't know uh, uh, Rachel Howard is a head brewer there uh, she's doing something different now and she does have uh, the qualification she's been to school and has the <coughs> excuse me the chemical background to go along with it she's a fairly young woman but I believe she's got I believe she's got some good ideas I mean uh, this is it's a tasty beer uh, I mean even though it looked horrible coming out of the can uh, I'm just wondering if they have this beer on tap and what kind of reactions if they see if, if the, the patrons are watching a, if those clumps come out. I don't know how that would work well on the, the beer lines uh, at the tap house. I don't know. I mean, uh, that's some heavy duty concentrated down there. Now look at that head there. I mean, it's it's there. But it's not going anywhere. It's just, this is like yogurt on top. Well, I. I uh, not a creamy yogurt, but a thick yogurt. So, guys, I'm going to go sip on it. So, I'll be back and we'll give a verdict on this. Strange. Alright, guys, I'm back. Still alive, too. Imagine that. This, this beer has absolutely turned this glass and it has actually destroyed this glass. Look at it. It is sticky. I mean, that is probably a little over the top for this guy as far as the tartness of it. It's a bit, I mean, you you guys and gals that like those super tart ones, this would be a good one. Uh, it's just a little over the top tart for me. Uh, I haven't quite got there yet. I hadn't, hadn't got my arms around that much tartness. And it's really amazing how they can have that much sour slash tartness and still be as sweet as it is because they they did lactose. They brewed it with lactose to give it that sweetness. So it's very, very strange to me that you could have it be that tart and still be sweet. So uh, very nicely done. I mean, it is. And this thing has left that big clop of foam in there like the Golden Shade did. And it was a very nice end to that beer to have that like a chocolate mousse clump right at the very end and this one looks like it's done the same thing so uh, guys I mean it it is absolutely destroyed this glass I'll take me five minutes to get this glass clean so but it's there I mean everything they're saying is it's got the very tart cherry taste to me super tart cherry and the uh, uh, vanilla and uh, the lactose is giving it the sweetness and very subtle hints of the chocolate
very unique beer, no doubt. And you, you cats that like these super tart sour ales, this would probably be right up your alley. Just a hair too tart for me, though. That's tasty. I mean, not my run of the meal. Probably not something I would repurchase again because I'm not quite into something that super, super tart. But it's well made, and it's exactly what they say it is. So, but just a little heavy on the tartness scale for this guy. Now the other ones that I've done that were were right on the money for this guy. They were a little more subtle. This one's it's going to wake your taste buds up. So, I mean, I think it's a good beer, guys. I, I think it's an eight beer. I'm gonna give it a ninety. Uh, and like I said, Bear Advocate doesn't have anything. They don't have it listed. They have the brewery, but they don't have this one. Brand new release. Uh, like I told you, only 52 people have commented on it on Untapped. And they have it at a solid four, and that's where I'm getting it. That's just, it's, a, it's just a beer, guys. So, uh, tasty. Different, unique, super tart, but well made. So, guys, if you've had it, writing phone lines from Oozel Finch Beers and Blending? Let me know what you think. Can we meet again? Let's go see what's in the fridge.